Mayor Giuliani's remarks at the beginning about how there's a narrative out there that the election was the most secure ever. Um, and I think you believe he said, please don't interrupt that narrative with the truth. And that's really, it's really what I think. I mean, I believe that we're in a situation where there's limited media coverage of this event. And it's not because that the information being provided isn't newsworthy. It's not because there aren't facts here that are being uh, discovered or being given to the lawmakers of Arizona for consideration. It's because... It doesn't fit their narrative. Exactly. Uh, other networks are per perhaps just not feeling that uh, there's a story here. And in fact, this would be the largest political story of this century and, and even last century. I mean, it's a scandal of immense proportions. If in fact voter fraud can be proven, they're not even looking for it. And I think that's, that's disturbing. Not in the slightest. And we've been to Phoenix a lot. We know um, Fox 5 Phoenix is at all the rallies. And I mm -hmm. thought that we'd at least see them here today. But like you said, they don't even care. I mean, not even enough to give it an ounce of oxygen to breathe on their mm -hmm. nightly uh, news routine. So it's it's shocking. It's upsetting. But we honestly don't need them. What We have around 200,000 watching alone on YouTube. So thank you to everyone for tuning in. Um, this should not be a polarizing topic. I think people on both sides of the spectrum right now should be worried about election integrity. Hearing these witnesses um, factually, it just doesn't make sense. Dominion Softwares and Smartmatic Software Systems, who, which, which is owned by Hugo Chavez and has been raised in so many corrupt uh, Central and South American countries, countries like Venezuela, I mean, that alone should tell you that's not something that we want to be utilizing here in the United States when it is our election integrity, the presidential election of the United States. Something's got to give. Yes, and both the Army Colonel and the former Senator from Michigan presented pretty clear evidence that these servers were connected to the Internet, that they weren't air-gapped, they were not just, uh, you know, not immune from tampering by some form of um, malicious actor who wanted to gain access to those totals. So saying that it's the most secure election ever, I think that's been completely blown out of the water today. I think there's just no way that anybody can can look at the data and look at the information and and, and hold that to be true. Right. I think they're very, that that story should be dead in the water at this point. Yeah, with having the ethernet cord connected to the server, this does allow for internet access. And in turn, it allows for communication between these servers to the, the black, um, what do they call that? Black mark. Black box? No, no, no. Dark web? Deep web, deep web. Yeah. I mean, anyone, anyone, right. like he said, any hackers can get on and change this. Um, so a quote I want to take away from that is that your Venmo account is more secure than your 2020 vote. And that is what a inter information warfare specialist said today. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I believe that, you know, the compact flashcards that they're using to transfer votes and just... Really, it's really, I don't know, the, just the fact that some of the Dominion servers run on Windows 10 alone is enough for me to just be, really give pause to it. I mean, the, the fact that these things are so easily manipulated by operators and that even one, one operator with the correct permissions at a remote workstation through the network, as these machines are designed to work, has the ability to change totals is completely off-putting. Uh, you know, I, Jenna Ellis had a great quote, too, and that's um, and it was that, we're not asking you to overturn an election. We're asking you to ensure that corruption does not stand. And I think that's the core of what all of these hearings are about, to educate the American public that this is, the election took place. The results are there. But the results that we're looking at are fraudulent. 